So this is the Elf on a Shelf. Uh, modified with the Raspberry Pi and the Pivot Pi servo controller for the Raspberry Pi. We've also added an ultrasonic sensor so that when you get close, the, sh the elf starts to wave at you. We have a ultrasonic sensor which is detecting the distance uh, somebody passing by from the elf and when that distance comes within say 50 centimeters or so, uh, the ultrasonic sensor is read by the Grove Pi Zero and that tells the Raspberry Pi to tell the pivot pi to start swinging the arm back and forth and when uh, it detects that the person has left, it stops the swinging. Let's take a quick look at a couple of things we have set up here. We've got our elf on a shelf and it's got the servo tied to the back of it and it's got a, the arm of the servo is mounted to the arm of the uh, elf so that we can get our waving action. Um, we've got our ultrasonic sensor mounted right below the uh, right below the elf, and that's tied into our Grove Pi Zero. This is the small board here in between the Raspberry Pi and the Pivot Pi. And finally, we have the Pivot Pi up here, and that's got the the servo uh, is connected into port one, which is controlling the uh, the arm from going up and, or to go up and down. Um, and we've got uh, uh, the battery pack attached for the Pivot Pi, and we've got a USB battery pack attached for powering the Raspberry Pi. Uh, to tie it all together and be able to control it and run it, we've got the Raspberry Pi uh, Wi-Fi dongle on the Raspberry Pi, and that gets us into the network. And here's a close-up of our ELF and how we've mounted the servo. You can see that we've taken two twisty tie, just two wires that uh, we, we tied tight around the one around the, the hole for the servo and one around the actual body of the servo to sort of hold that in place and put it you know, just a little bit behind the elf so that it's a little bit discreet. And we've used the, uh, the arm that comes with the servo um, along with uh, two more wires. So we've tied the wires in around the arm that are close to the base of the servo and then far out on the servo so that we get this sort of waving motion as the servo swings up and down. The arm swings up and down.